Hi, this is Jeff from the IT department here to give you part three in our series of Google Forms. This particular video shows you how to email a form or embed a form on WordPress once you've created it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to email this form once you've completed it and got your response sheet set up. So as you can see from our last videos, we go ahead and have our responses here and we have our form ready to go. So the easiest way to do it, and you can do this from either uh, either the form or the spreadsheet once they're created, in the form section, if you go to send form and click this button, this gives you a link to send out to people if you want to send it out as a link. Um, you can also enter uh, email addresses here. I'm going to go ahead and send this to our help desk folks. And... Uh, you can include the form in the email or just basically sends them a link but go ahead and include it in the email you can send yourself a copy if you want to see what was sent which I'll go ahead and do you can customize your message and subject if you want but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and send it and show you what it looks like in email format and it'll probably take a couple minutes to get filtered through but it's inviting people now and then getting ready to send the email so it's gone and looks like it just popped in so this is what the fake form looks like and I'll go ahead and display the images below so it pretty much can see this is our form you can fill it out review and submit and once they submit it then you should get notification back to so I'll go ahead and just fill it out here in the email real quick so you can see what it is I'll submit this and it's basically gives you a warning you're submitting to an external page are you sure yes we're sure and that's it there's our confirmation and we're pretty much done and like I said I should get another confirmation here in my inbox when it's all done so like I said you can send this from either either way you can uh, send it here from form send form and it gives you the same information so it's really easy to do and the last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to embed this form into WordPress if you're going to use it for a web page probably the majority of the forms we see created are created for WordPress so uh, basically the way we're going to do this it's a I'm in the spreadsheet I'm in the responses portion here if you go to form and embed form in web page it gives you a code and as you know from WordPress training the content page can only hold 675 pixels in width so we want to adjust it in our heights so I'm gonna go 1200 and then we copy the code and we take this over to our WordPress page and I've already got a page set up ready to go and you should be working in the HTML tab not the visual tab because we have to paste HTML code and there's the code added. I'm going to update it and I'm going to view our page. And there's our form. And it looks like it's good. Now, for example, I'm going to edit this. Let's say this was the height was only 800 pixels. So what's going to happen, I'll show you once we view, is there's going to be a scroll bar on your on your uh, form. So and I generally don't like it it looks kind of clunky so I always try to make up for it in uh, just by adding some more height now if you have a really super long form you may want to consider page breaks as I showed you in earlier videos as one of our examples is our IT uh, application student application it just shows page breaks and uh, how to kind of separate it out so you kind of want a good even flow maybe one screen not much scrolling uh, you want to keep your audience somewhat captivated if, if possible so you want you want their attention you don't want them scrolling through a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to 1200 that should get rid of the scroll bar so and you may have to play with it a little bit and see which size is, is correct and real quick if I didn't show you you can do this from the spreadsheet side or you can do it from the form, form side oops so if we you can send the form and you can bed right here too so you have plenty of options to get to this particular spot so and 
the last thing I'm going to show you is the form itself. Let me get rid of one of these tabs. This particular form itself, if you're putting it on a WordPress page for your department to be used, um, we generally recommend that you share the form. And I'll pull it up here. Forms at eou.edu. Now you don't have to send them a message to notify them. And you get that, skip that invitation. But basically what happens, right now I'm the owner. Let's say my boss told me to put together this website and I am quit for some reason. My email account gets shuts down. My All of my Google Forms and, and Google Docs goes with it. So anytime you create a website for a departmental site, you want to make the website forms, forms at eu.edu, the owner. I won't do that here in this case just because it's an example, but once you add them to your share settings, you want to make sure they're the owner of the form for your department. So the department will always have the form available to them. So, And that's pretty much everything we have. If you have any questions, please call the IT Help Desk. Our phone number is 541-962-3111. Or you can send us an email at helpdesk at uu.edu. I want to thank you for watching our three-part series on Google Forms. And just let us know if you have any questions. Have a good one.